Hi Pam, it's Mark here at Rickshaw. Hey, um, our little folio project has sent me on a grand discovery of the color purple. And so um, before we make your folio, I wanted to check in with you with some fabric choices, uh, some solid colors and some patterns. And so I'll start with the uh, solids that we have here. So um, we have our traditional Cordura pack cloth in um, a very traditional purple color and then a purple that has a lot more blue in it. So you'll see those two here. This is uh, Cordura nylon and it's very durable, but these are the two colors that we have, okay? Now, um, the next solid that I have here is the plush uh, suede. This material is just so wonderful to touch. Um, uh, I, it, it just feels really soft and smooth. We have it in a magenta, you know, a bright uh, color, and then we have a more traditional purple, which you see here. So those are two options, the, uh, the nice suede material. Now I also have a velvet material. Um, this is um, also an upholstery fabric, uh, a velvet material like you might find in uh, theater seating, and uh, it kind of takes on that crushed velvet look. It gets uh, it gets, you know, if you go against the grain, it gets that sort of distressed, crushed look to it. But anyway, it feels lovely, um, and this is a more traditional purple. Now, uh, I also want to show you what we have in the way of patterns. And uh, this all started with uh, taking a look at your bonbon selection and um, me discovering that the one that you chose is a little more blue than it is purple. So let's have a look at those. So first off, here's your bonbon, and uh, this is blueberry. Turns out it's a little more blue than it is berry. And so when we went to look at the bindings and how they might match with this, uh, we were th sort of thrown off and we were wanting to do something more blue than purple. And so this is what got me started on maybe this isn't the right for thing for you because I think you had expressed a real interest in purple. Okay. Now if we look at the next uh, alternative, this is raspberry. This is more raspberry than it is brown. And, uh, but you can see that it's not a traditional purple, so didn't know, give you a closer look at that. Now also in the purple realm, we have this, what we've been calling our royal um, uh, silk fabric. This is purple and gold with this big pattern. So it makes a real statement. Uh, entirely up to you whether you like that. Um, here's another pattern, a little more abstract, kind of uh, sunflowery looking design. Uh, purple and blue, uh, so that's an option. Uh, here is the swirl pattern. I think you might have mentioned an interest in this. This is maroon and purple on a sort of burlapy background. Feels great. Um, this is a plush, uh, plush, uh, you know, circular lines, squiggles here. Really nice. We've made several folios out of this in different colors. Wonderful. And then finally, um, this this is our. Uh, super extravagant silk. It has a lavender purple background and then, you know, much more gold and red uh, in the pattern itself. So, anyway, uh, a, a bunch of choices, uh, the tyranny of choices we say here at Rickshaw. Um, why don't you let me know if any of these really strike your fancy and we'll go from there. See ya.